Gus Kalari, which is pretty awesome. So this was Reverb's idea about Kalari. And I just want to go over it, see if we got any more ideas, and just uh, see what people thought about Kalari. So everyone knows that from Paragon, Kalari obviously had a bit of an issue. She wasn't good. Her alt was worse. She was either uh, overpowered or not good at no, all. No, I've never met an overpowered Kalari in my day. Oh, well. The only way I'll she was overpowered... Later. The only way she, she was, was over... definitely just not balanced. Yeah. The only way she was overpowered was if she was, like, up five kills than everyone else. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll send you a video when she's overpowered. Yeah. But overall, jeez. Um, so what So what we thought... Uh, what I shouldn't say what we thought. What Reverb thought, and we kind of agreed and disagreed with some stuff. Kalari's kid, I thought he had did a really good job on, to be honest. I was really... I was really impressed. This this is one of the ones that I was big on. Uh, the passive is the double jump of Marked for Death. So, Kalari always had the Marked for Death uh, thing, which is every basic attack, she gets one stack of Bloodlust, and Bloodlust means that she does more damage to you. And stacks only last for 20 seconds. Timer refreshed if a new stack is applied. So, if you attack a new hero, a new enemy. Uh, her double jump used to be an ability, but uh, Reverb's idea here was just to make it the passive. So you just hit the space bar twice, whoop to do there you go. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's, that's cool. a good idea. Having, I always thought that having a double jump assigned to one of your four abilities was really stupid. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's I not mean, useless, but, you know, like, to take up a full like, abit ability spot... Oh boy! Like I, would, I wouldn't want to level it up, especially early game, because like I was jungle, I needed to kill. Th <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Not run away better. Yeah, uh, and then we have her Q. So her Q is uh, stealth. So increased MS and health regen while stealth. So you hit the Q, you go invisible. And you get increased mana the regen and health and uh, mana regen, which which is pretty good. That that was her Q in the past, and, and applies three stacks when attacking a champion out of stealth. So if you attack someone right away out of a stealth, you immediately do three stacks to them. I think that's pretty good. What do you guys think? That's good. Yeah, yeah. that's good. And then we got the E ability, which is spins out. Darius spin. Darius is a League of Legends character. Uh, and basically, uh, you spin, deal a bit of damage, because uh, Kalari has a spin, and you apply two stacks. So in two abilities, you got five stacks. So, which is 15% damage. Nice. In two abilities. Ooh, that can be kind of scary. Uh, and then the range skill shot. Which is the old dagger. She just throws her dagger, hits you right in the dome piece. And you and yeah, and applies two stacks as well. What do you guys think? Pretty do you good. think that's a good idea for her kit? Yeah. Yeah. Um we'd mentioned earlier for howitzer the idea of like a movement speed buff. I mm -hmm. always thought that maybe like a movement speed and attack speed buff would be interesting for Kalari, like mm. Like, there's a few characters in Smite that their abilities either give a slow on basic attack or they give um, attack speed for their basic attacks. And that was always something that, like, I felt with Kalari having the ability to either move, like, chase people a bit quicker. Mm -hmm. um, and then when she actually is in the fight, maybe, like, attack a little bit quicker. Yeah, because a lot um, of her damage seems to come from her basics. Like, that's how it works. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and it's easy to get away from basics. But with a good with a good team comp, she she could be good in that sense. Yeah. You get a good stun in. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And if you build just attack speed on her and a bit of damage, oh my. Well, then again. Yeah. That's of her stealth has movement speed. Yeah, uh, she gains movement speed. Yeah. Uh, which makes more sense. It just took me a second to figure out her what MS is. Yeah. Okay, and the ult is the old Kalari ult. We're not talking monolith bullshit. We're talking Kalari legacy. 
which is, uh, in my personal opinion, oh, the, much... the the dash or something, the one where uh, she like spins, like she jumps up in the air with yeah. and like holds out her arms and like spins. It, it's a lot more fun to use, and Strange Matter have like confirmed that like that's coming back. Like they're not using her monolith alt. Her monolith alt is foolish. Yeah. Because, like, it's just not good. Like, and it's, it's usually not very helpful. Yeah. Um, and puts you into death more often than it did give you a kill. Yeah. At and least at least I you can it. combo with her old ult. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I know people used her new ult as evasion mostly because of her attack. Yeah, because you could see where everyone was. Yeah. But then In you... this space for the whole team. Yeah. Which is actually pretty cool. Oh, but that's kind of like a wraith thing. Hmm. What do you guys think? Would you guys change anything, or do you think Kalari is pretty good? Uh, Hikari Trinity in the chat said that the new ult was good for split pushing. Sure. Yo, you think you would prefer the new ult, Hikar? I I don't remember. That Kalari always, well, almost always did uh, offline. It was good for split pushing. But Hikara, what about in a team fight? I mean, it is good. You, if you're away as a jungle, you can really get in a team fight. Or what if, what if Kalari's? Hang on. What if Kalari's old alt instead of going to a t to an enemy, it went to an ally, so you could trans, you could teleport to an ally at any moment in the game. Kind of like uh, Muriel. <laughs> well, she's an assassin, so she needs to do damage. Huh. Can you use, use old ult old from ult. self? Yes, you can. You can. Actually, have you seen the old ult? Hang on. We'll we'll bring it up. We'll bring it up. We'll we'll open up a YouTube. Imagine if if Kalari's ult was transformed into you switched places with a teammate so you could steal their kill. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, that would be funny. So this is... So this is Kalari's old ult. Whenever it shows up. When the game is good. <laughs> I think, I think she already used it. We're gonna go back. That was such a. It doesn't. Yeah, I didn't even notice her. What is going it. on, guys? Just a short video. It, it Man, used to deal a lot of damage. I remember that much. For six seconds. Yeah, we'll go to Kalari when they first came out, because I know it's in there. Global threat to an attack speed. Shadow walk. Crippling dagger will supplement death sentence. Allows her to teleport to an enemy wherever they are, making her a global threat. No, this is the um, this is the rework. This is a rework. So that's her that's her new one, right? No, because yeah. she had she had um the teleport to an enemy the wherever old they alt are in like early access, I think. Oh yeah, boy, so we're talking way, 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 way. Yeah, it was in that video that you played, the first one yeah. you played. I saw it. It that you you missed it, but I remembered it because it was like a little like spin dash. Yeah. No, if you go back to the original video. I think it was this one. Like, no, it was five man alt. Yeah, the, the five man Kalari five man. Oh, that was it, I think. This one. No, then why you just that one. So I'm pretty sure her alt is this right here. Where she like dashes through. Like, that is her ult. The old ult, isn't it? Yeah, that's the old ult. That looked really underwhelming. Yeah, but it deals a lot of damage. It did do, it did do a lot of damage. I gotta give, I gotta give him that. You, you it's a big it AOE, with, dude. You polish it up with some, you know, sounds, some effects. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you think that's good? You think, so the old ult is... The well, old ult seems to be... Yeah. <laughs> it is good for split pushing. You're right, Hicka Trinity, but uh, I was personally never scared of the old of Kalari, ever. You are when you're low health. 
fuck yeah. Yeah, but that's any jungler. You that's like what I mean. Like, if I'm low health ever, I'm scared. No, but she can see you anywhere. She can teleport anywhere to kill you when you're low health. That's true. It's not like any other jungler. They don't have vision on you, but she does always. Hmm. Well. I, and I also think, though, like, with her old alt, if I was to put in her old alt, it makes it more team fight oriented. And what I mean by that is I would I consider it a skill to know when to rotate and to be there in a team fight. With her new alt, you are literally taking away that skill. You're literally saying, run away from me. Doesn't matter. So it's kind of like Morgesh. You know what I mean? Like who does? Yeah. And Morgash's alt was too good and was too easy. Morgash's whole kit was too easy, and we seem to be getting into that realm with Kalari. Like, uh, and that's one thing Strange Matter seems to be trying to stray away from. Exceptionally, they want to make it skill based, and they don't want to give you a freebie. And to say you have a freebie to get vision and to go anywhere on the map. That's that. And also on top of that, though, it really wasn't a good ult. Like, theoretically, it was a good ult, but it wasn't. Like, it just... I, unless I was low health, I never cared. To her, her old ult was better in more situations as well. It was more versatile. Yeah. And that. I just never was a big fan of Kalari. To be honest, I think she was uh, second worst character in the game. Number two. People probably want to stab me with a pitchfork for saying that, but I did not like Kalari at all. I'm also not a jungler or an offlane at all. What was the other worst character? Oh, Iggy was by far the worst. Okay, now, okay. <laughs> I should say this. We're talking before version 42. If we're talking after version 42, Iggy was the best. By far. He was a little, he was, he was a little powerful. Hey, Jabari, thank you for the follow. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, we're just going to reiterate, we're in the Strange Matter Discord right now, uh, in the alpha chat, and if you want to come in and chat and give your opinion, and give, and just pop in some ideas, have any questions or concerns about the stream, or stuff you, something you'd like us to talk about, just let us know, or you can just sit there, you know, enjoy it, talk in the chat, whatever, whatever you, whatever you prefer, but we are here, we are here. So, I think we're a bit ahead of time with Act 2, we were behind on time in Act 1, but we're ahead of time in Act 2, if I'm not mistaken. You got extra topics. But we do have extra topics. Just in case this happened. So let's go back to those extra topics. 